Hello, welcome to the Action Brick, and welcome to another episode of Brick Bam. Now, in case you don't know what Brick Bam is, it is a series on my channel where I take a Lego set, I break it apart, and I turn it into three alternate builds using most or all of the pieces from that set. Now, today we have the Imperial Assault Hover Tank from the LEGO Star Wars line, uh, based off of Rogue One, which is going to be coming out uh, in a couple months, so I'm pretty excited for that. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go take a look at all three of these alternate builds. Here we go. Our first build is what I'm calling the Classic Space Moon Base. Now, the reason why I call it Classic is because of the look of the thing. You'll see that the spaceship looks like something that came out of a set uh, that came out many years ago, and so it has a very unrealistic and sort of comic, comical look. And uh, that's sort of what I was going for. So you can see that we have uh, two parts, you know, we have the spaceship and we also have this platform right here, which has some supplies on it and, you know, some tools that the astronauts uh, can use. Uh, so the spaceship actually does have some interesting features. So let's take a closer look at those. The spaceship itself has a variety of interesting features, uh, including the little satellite dish up top and also these two spring shooters down here. But I think the most interesting feature is this one where you actually have this little compartment that you can reveal by opening that up and you can take these little tiny bombs let me show you just for just a second you can actually make these fruit with the pieces from the actual set and once you make them you put them into this little trunk uh, you can make two of them and uh, you can pull this back down and then we, if we take a look at the bottom there's this little technic uh, device right here and when we pull this back the trap door is activated and the bombs fly out so it provides a nice little feature for uh, maybe an action scene or something and it makes the ship uh, that much cooler so if we take a look at the back we have some of these engines and uh, this detail right here and yeah that is pretty much the uh, spaceship now if you've been keeping up with the Rogue One trailers you know that there is a battle scene that takes place on a tropical planet sort of like a Hawaii-ish setting if you know what I mean uh, so what I decided to do was I decided to make a battleship and the uh, first thing to know about this is there is actually a little raft that you can use to uh, rescue some uh, injured soldiers in battle and then take them to safety and also there are some of these little spring shooters but more importantly there is like this little compartment that I decided to make with the, the trap door and you can store weapons and stuff inside of there and also of course there is this this main gun which unfortunately cannot rotate 360 but it can go up and down and in the back here you can see that there is a little pilot and uh, he's looking through those little binocular pieces and so yes that is pretty much the battleship uh, very glad with the way it turned out and uh, yeah there it is our final build is this Imperial gunship now obviously I did take inspiration from the Republic gunship from the Clone Wars era but yeah I took that basic concept and I made it much more I guess gray and then uh, made it much more Imperial I guess you could say and not only that but we also have this trench that I made using the extra pieces I know it's lame I'm not really gonna look into that but let's take a closer look at the Imperial gunship. In the front of the gunship you can see that there is a cockpit uh, with a non-existent or I guess pretend uh, windscreen as well as two of these cannons right here. Up top you can see that we have two main engines and also in the back you see that there is one main thruster and also two spring shooters so we can fire those and one thing to know about the wings is that they are actually not secure in place they rely on gravity to keep them in that uh, angled position and uh, also we do have these little cans that are basically just two barrels held together by this technic piece and yes that is the imperial gunship well that concludes this episode of brick bam if you enjoyed it please leave it a like and also in the comments down below let me know which one was your favorite personally my my favorite build out of all three was the second one, uh, the Battleship. Uh, but if you are interested in building one of these or all of these yourself, uh, there will be tutor links to tutorials in the description, or you can just click the annotations right here on this screen. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and stay cool.